Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you are tuned to Coders Column. In today's video, I will explain how to create a multi-page web app or dashboard using Python dashboarding library Streamlit. As your app grows over time, it's not a good idea to keep all the information on a single page as this can overwhelm your user and it will be hard for you to scale this app. It's a good solution to spread your apps across multiple pages. You can do that by grouping things together and then move them to a separate pages. This will not overwhelm your user and it will be good for you to scale your app if it's uh, easy to maintain and it's easy to maintain when it's spread across multiple pages. So all right, so let me first of all show you the dashboard that we are going to create in this tutorial. So as you can see on my screen, we'll be creating a simple web app or dashboard which has uh, four pages. So the as you can see on the left side, there are four pages, links to four pages in the sidebar. The first page is the welcome page where we simply display the name of the app and some information about the data set that we have available in our app and the data set that we are going to use for our app. And in the next tab is the data tab where we actually display our data as a table. So we will be using a wine data set which is available from uh, Python library scikit-learn and I will explain the data set in detail uh, in some time. Next, the third page is ingredients relationship page. So this is the page where I am simply as of now displaying a scatter chart. So this scatter chart shows the relationship between the two features of our data set or two columns of our data set. And you can color the points of the chart based on one categorical column of our data set by selecting this checkbox. So this is the third page of our web app. Now the fourth page of our web app has a stacked bar chart. So it shows the average values of uh, features or columns of our data set based on our values of that uh, categorical column. And at the beginning I have a multi-select. So I can use this multi-select to select the list of ingredients which I want to display in this stacked bar chart. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's our web app, four page web app, which we will create in this tutorial. So first of all, let me show you the data set that we are going to use. Let me introduce you to the data set. All right. So as you can see on my screen, I have a sample Jupyter notebook open where I have uh, some code and this is the code to load our data set. So I will be using this exact code in when we start uh, coding for our dashboard to load our data set. So first of all, I have imported a load wine function from uh, data set submodule of uh, scikit-learn and then I have imported pandas. Next, I have a small function. So what this function does is that it loads our data set uh, and then it converts it into a pandas data frame and then it returns that data frame. So as you can see over here, I am displaying the first few columns, uh, first few rows of our data set. So the data set that uh, we are going to use is a wine data set. And it's, it's actually a machine learning data set available from scikit-learn. So data set has uh, information about various uh, ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine. So these are various ingredients, alcohol, malic acid, S and so on. And these are their measurements. And the last column, as you see over here, wine type, this is the target variable or this is the categorical variable in our case. So there are three values for this column, class zero, class one and class two. Right, so that's our data set. So this is the only categorical column wine type. All other columns are continuous columns. Next, I am maintaining a simple list where I have list of ingredients available for me to use. And then there is one more data frame which I have created from our original wine DF data frame. So over here, what I have done is that I have grouped the entries of our original wine DF data frame based on wine type. And then I have called mean function. So when I do this, I have average values of ingredient for wine type. So as you can see, this uh, new data frame has only three rows, class zero, class one, class two. And all these values are average value of those ingredients for the particular wine type. So the first data set, this uh, wine DF data frame. So we'll be using this uh, data frame to create our scatter chart, which was our third page. And this average wine DF will be used to create stacked bar chart which was our fourth page 
right so now that i have introduced you to the dashboard how it will look like and i have introduced you to the data set as well let's go ahead and code our dashboard okay all right so before we start coding let me introduce one important thing about the structure of the way we should organize a multi-page web app in streamlit so streamlit requires us that you keep one entry file so in your project folder there will be one entry file which will be used to launch our streamlit web app so as you can see there is a home.py over here and all other pages of our dashboard which goes one after another from second to last they should be kept in pages folder and pages folder should be in the same folder where you have kept home.py so streamlit looks for pages folder in the same place where you placed your main file which you will be executing when you are launching a streamlit server so let me open my editor as you can see i'm using visual uh, studio editor and i have kept uh, my code for my web app in this folder streamlit multi-page app and the first file the main file is welcome.py and inside of this folder i have another folder name pages and there i have three files date one underscore data.py two underscore ingredients relationship.py and average ingredients.py now if you want to uh, see uh, if you want uh, your uh, pages to be in particular sequence then you can give numbers like this otherwise it will sort them in alphabetical order so i wanted in this order first data and then two charts so that's why i kept it like that and now i have on my screen the first uh, the entry point file of our dashboard open so as you can see i have a few imports already over here so i imported streamlit i imported uh, pandas i have imported pandas bokeh so the pandas bokeh library is not needed over here so let me just remove it but this will be the library that we will use to create our uh, scatter chart and then i have loaded a load wine function so yeah so let's create our first entry page so first of all i will add a title so streamlit has a function named title to which we can give string title so i will say wine data set analysis now streamlit let us include various emojis as well in the title and text and various places and you need to remember the name of the emojis and you need to put the that uh, text of that emoji inside of columns so i will say let's set t so there is an emoji by name t which i know let's say coffee there is also emoji by name of chart and there is the one more by name of bar chart actually there are many many uh, emojis available so you can check uh, streamlit's uh, documentation there are many emojis available over there so there we have there we have our title ready now next thing uh, streamlit also let us uh, color particular word of our text so we can do that by covering particular word in bracket and then colon and then whatever is the color name so currently only four or five colors are presented like green red blue violet and one more yellow i think so only five colors are currently available and it will color this analysis uh, green so you can you can wrap any text or word inside of this bracket and then give the color name right so that was the title of our uh, dashboard next we will use this method markdown to include some text so uh, those of you who have worked with the jupyter notebook might be already aware of aware of markdown so it's a small language that let us create a formatted text so our, over here i will say that explore relationship between ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine instead of bracket let me just include the type of wine class zero class one and class two now i can bolden the text ingredient by putting it inside of a two stars 
so now we have title ready then we have a small text explaining our dashboard like what we are going to do in this dashboard let's add one more thing in this page so this wine data set has an attribute name dscr description short for so it will uh, it will uh, uh, write the description of the data set that we are going to use so all right so we have first page of our dashboard ready so let's go ahead and run this uh, dashboard and see how it looks so first of all let me activate my environment i'm going to use python 311 and as you can see in the terminal i have kept my file in a streamlit multi-page uh, app folder so in order to run streamlit web app you need to execute command streamlit run and then the name of the file so in our case the main entry file is welcome.py so right so let me run it all right so this is the minor error which says uh, i notify limit so don't worry about this error this is something from streamlit and we don't need to worry about it it's uh, some file watcher which has failed so there is a very simple way to avoid this error you need to include argument name server dot file watcher type to none so it's not necessary that you will face uh, this error as well but as uh, if you face this error then this is the way to avoid it so you can say dash dash server dot file watcher type and provide it none and then file name so let's run it all right so now that uh, our dashboard started and as you can see on my screen uh, it opened in the new tab of my browser as well so it's currently running as you can see yeah and the the first welcome page is ready so you can see wine data set analysis the first page is ready you can see various emojis and below we have a description of our wine data set all right so the first page is ready now let's go ahead with the second page and as you can see over here in the terminal the url localhost uh, and uh, the port is 8501 port at which this is getting served right so let's go ahead to the second second uh, page of our uh, dashboard which is data dot uh, page where, where we will display the data set all right so over here i have copied the code to load the data set which i had explained earlier uh, in jupyter notebook so over here i will simply be displaying this data set as a table in our web app page so in order to do that first of all i will include a header so there is a function name header and this will create a h2 header if you are aware of uh, html head, h2 header so i will say wine data set you can include emoji in all that over here as well and it will work and in order to write the data frame to dashboard i will simply give data frame to write function so write is a kind of a magic function available from streamlit you can give it a different type of uh, objects like data frame and array and so on and it will create a good representation of that object and show it on dashboard so i will display both of our data set first was wine and second is average wine df data set all right so now that uh, we have a second page ready as well let's go ahead and test it so we already have a server up and running over here as i clicked on a data tab from the sidebar as you can see our data set is over here you can explore the data set over here both the data sets are available all right so let's go ahead with our third page which is ingredients relationship all right so now that uh, we are here again so over here i have again used the same same imports and same uh, same code to load the data set now over here i will import one more library which is pandas okay now what this library i will use for so this library i will use to create a scatter chart so 
this uh, library let us create bokeh charts from pandas data frame with just one line of code and so it will uh, reduce the number of lines that we code so if you're interested in learning pandas bokeh i will include the link to it in the description i have a detailed tutorial on my website so right so uh, let me show you the dashboard once again and this page that we are going to create so you have an idea what we are going to do. right so this is the page our second page so i will be creating two drop downs one checkbox and one scatter chart right so scatter chart shows the relationship between two ingredients and then it will be colored based on wine type so first of all i will create the variable name x axis and i will say st dot select box so select box is a function available from Steamlit to create drop downs so its first parameter is label which i will set x axis second parameter is options so options i will set to ingredients we have list of ingredients available as a list and then there is a parameter name index so this parameter is zero by default though i am setting it again but it's zero by default so it will select the first ingredient from our list uh, and uh, let me copy this the second drop down is uh, y-axis let's call this y-axis and let's select index one so it will create uh, it will select the second ingredient now what happens is that whatever the drop down value is selected will be available through this variable x-axis and y-axis so if you print x-axis and y-axis whatever the drop down values will be selected you will be able to see so now that i have created two drop downs next i will create a checkbox so in order to create a checkbox there is a function name checkbox and we will set label to color and core so now that we have our two widgets uh, three widgets created and also let me include a title at the beginning of this page so i'll say header and let me use markdown this time I will say scatter chart explore relationship between ingredients right so now that we have a title to our page we have created widgets uh, let's create a chart so in order to create a chart I will use uh, method name I will use a plot bokeh dot scatter so this is the method that we will use to create a scatter chart and whatever scatter chart it return we will save it to scatter fig object and then we will display the scatter fig object inside of our dashboard so for x axis I will say x axis so this will set uh, whatever is the ingredient selected as x axis for y we will set y axis and for coloring the points based on wine type uh, there is a parameter named category which i will set to wine type if color and code is selected else this will be set to none so this will create our scatter chart now let's add labels to x and y axis and title i will say x label will be x axis dot capitalize just will capitalize it same i will do for y y label y axis dot capitalize let me set title as well so title i will use formatted string space format x axis dot capitalize versus y axis dot capitalize so now we have added labels let's set figure size and i will set figure size to 650 pixel by 500 pixel and there is one last important parameter which you need to set which is so figure to false so this uh, 
library is generally used to display chat inside of uh, Jupyter Notebook. So by default, it displays chats inside of Jupyter Notebook. So when you set this parameter show figure to false, it will return the chart as a figure object instead of displaying it. All right. So also let me add uh, size of, uh, let me modify the font size of title and labels as well. So I will say font size underscore title to 25 pixels and font size underscore label to 12. Right. So now this will create our scuttle chart and we have to display this scuttle chart in our dashboard. So there is a function name bokeh chat. As we are creating bokeh chat, uh, we need to use this function to display our chat. So over here, we simply need to provide a figure object. And there is a one important parameter which I will set, which say use container with to true. So it will expand and shrink the chart based on the width of the container. So we don't have to do it separately. All right, so we have our third page ready as well. So let's go ahead and test this code and see how the third page look. All right, so let me just click over here. Okay, so as you can see, alcohol is selected by default and the second element, agree ingredient is malic acid. Let me select this checkbox. As I select the checkbox, as you can see, the points are colored based on a wine type. So let me try different ingredients so let me try ash so ash versus malic acid is done let's see ash versus total phenols all right so this page is working fine now let's just do one thing let's put this uh, widgets next to each other these two drop down so in order to do that uh, streamlit provides us with the method name columns what this uh, function do is that it accepts integer and then it will divide the space into uh, horizontal space into columns so i will say call one and uh, call two so this will create a two vertical columns so in the first vertical column i will put uh, our first drop down and in the second vertical column i will put our second drop down and once you have created this uh, column object vertical column object you can use them as a context manager with uh, Python with statement, which I have done over here. All right, so now that we are done with this uh, change, let's just check it. So let me refresh this. Yeah, so as you can see, now the drop downs are uh, set next to each other. So let's test it. Okay. All right, so now that we are done over here as well. Let's move on to the last page of our web app, which is average ingredients. So let me show you how it will look. So over here, I need to create a multi-select and then stacked bar chart. So right, so let's jump to editor. And now I will go to this file, the average ingredients. So over here, I have again included code to load the data set. So I don't have to rewrite it again. And we'll be using this average wine df data frame this time to create this chart so first of all i will include a header over here or let's say header and say bar chart saying average ingredient per wine type So, all right, so we have a header ready. Let's create a multi select. So, I will say bar. I will give a variable name bar multi select. And in order to create a multi select, there is a method name, uh, function name multi select. So, first uh, argument to it is a label, which I will say ingredients second is options so again it will be ingredients list of ingredients and then there is argument name default so what i will do i will set three ingredients by default the alcohol first three ingredients alcohol malic acid and ash i remember the name of these three ingredients so this variable bar underscore multi-select will have a list of strings specifying 
ingredients name so whatever ingredients you have selected in multi select will be available through this bar multi select right so let's use it and create our stacked bar chart in order to create a stacked bar chart there is a method name bar chart which is available from streamlit so this time we don't need to use a bokeh to create a chart and then include it in streamlit streamlit itself provides uh, this uh, function name bar chart which we can use to create a stacked bar chart and in reality this function will use a python library name altair behind the scene to create chart for our purpose so first argument over here is average wine df which is the wine data set which we are going to use our average wine df for x axis i will say use wine type column for y axis we need to use list of columns i will say bar multi select so whatever ingredients are selected and then i will say height there is a parameter name height so i will say find it pixel and just like that bokeh chart the function we need to use use container with parameter and i will set it to true so it will expand and shrink the chart based on the width of our container or the screen right so we are done with our fourth and last page as well so let's go ahead and test it as well right so let me click on average ingredient all right so we have our fourth page ready as well so let me select various ingredients eleven nights color intensity let me select you yeah so as you can see we have our stack bar chart ready and as i unselect and select various ingredients it's updating chart properly so yeah that's it uh, we are done with this tutorial so in today's tutorial i explained how you can create a multi-page web app or dashboard using python dashboarding library streamlit if you have any doubt or any questions about uh, this tutorial then please feel free to let me know in the comment section uh, if you liked our video and you feel that you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up and yeah subscribe to our channel if you are looking forward to videos and topics like python machine learning artificial intelligence and so on and uh, yeah that's it for today see you next time